Welcome back to Best Banners Ever. Today I will be continuing my learning uh, from yesterday. So uh, yesterday I had a rotating, uh, orbiting donut around Charles's head. Uh, so last night I spent some time working out how to add the texture to the primitive. Um, so I'll quickly show you that. Um, so here I use pixel matter, very much like Photoshop, similar layers and uh, lots of different effects. I created basically a basic UV map texture um, the top edge here is the inside of the donut ring and then this is obviously the outer edge which comes around to the inside edge so the outer edge really if you try to visualize it would be probably about here somewhere somewhere in the middle well lower third sorry um, and then obviously you can see I've uh, attempted to do some graphics uh, not very successfully but anyway um, I'll show you then how I added that and then I can also show you some of the tests where I learned the mistakes. So going back over to it, um, I'll go straight to the primitive and then show you the texture. So um, I'll go new and I'll show you the other textures but I won't obviously implement them. So uh, where I first started was this. So initially this didn't work. Uh, for one thing it was too wide. Uh, I needed a square UV map so I went back did a square one and played around with the positioning of where the glaze will go um, top bottom middle top I eventually realized that the top was the right place to put it uh, and then obviously updated it to make it look a little bit more like a nice glazed donut um, with hundreds of thousands of course right so that's basically I then Used use the follow uh, followed the the normal procedure for adding a texture and just added it. Uh, right. So since then I've um, also looked at trying to add another donor animating. So we'll do that now. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to duplicate my current animation. Right. So it's now in the same location. And. I'm just going to select this null and I'm going to give it a new rotation. So what I'm going to do, instead of repeating the loop animation patch, I'll just use the same patch I'm using on the first null. And then I'll add it here. However, with this animation, I'm going to change its rotation and do minus so it goes the other way. So it looks a little bit more interesting. Um, I'll also select my new uh, primitive, which is the same primitive, it's just a duplication, but I'll also add some rotation to that. Again, I'll use the same transition, uh, well, I'll use the same um, animation loop, but I'll do a new transition. And in this one, instead of doing minus 360 there, what I'll do is I'll try the Z axes and I'll do a minus 360 there. Okay. Right, next part. Now, if I leave the donut where it is, or the new donut where it is, it's now going to be running in the same orbit as the current donut. So I need to obviously offset it. Now, I have experimented, played around. Um, and lifting it up just means it's just elevated above the other orbit, which is not very interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the orbit. So to do that, I'm because I don't want to interfere with this um, null object and its animations, I'm just going to create another null. Um, and what I'll just do, what I'll do, I'll call this um, orbit, off, orbit offset. I'll then add my new animation to that orbit offset and then what I'll do is just zoom out a little bit I'll then offset it um, I'll then offset it so it has a slightly different rotation so hopefully oh that's the wrong rotation apologies that's, that's better right so let's bring it down here just in front of Charles's face. So that means it'll be lower it. It will now, in theory, ride, ride, <laughs> fly, 
lower in front of him and higher behind him. Fingers crossed that works. Let's have a look. Okay, cool. So that has worked. And they don't seem to cross paths at any point, so that's really great. Okay, so I think what I'll do now is I'll just have a quick play with an emitter. I was thinking about this yesterday. What happens if I added a quick emitter? Is it emitter? No, particle. Let's try a particle system. Right, so I'm going to add the particle to... I'm going to add it to this one here. Okay, so look. Okay, that's not too bad. Looks a little bit odd. Okay, well, I think what I'll do then with tomorrow's learnings is I'll add emitters to both donuts, get some color in there, and then see if I can get the background changed so it's a bit more space like. All right, well, that's it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.